Since joining City University of Hong Kong in 1985, I have been dedicated to the invention of new antennas. Amazingly, antenna research is always important, as new wireless systems are developing continuously, such as from 5G to 6G, from Wi-Fi to Wi-Git, from GPS to GNSS, from microwave antennas to terahertz antennas, or even optical antennas. Over the past four decades, I have been working on the designs of antennas and arrays that are low in profile, compact in size, wide in bandwidth, high in gain, and high in radiation efficiency for applications in various wireless systems. High-gain antennas that are beam-steerable or pattern-reconfigurable are of major interest in my research group. In fact, design of beam-steerable antenna arrays operating at millimeter wave and terahertz frequencies for 5G and beyond is topical in the antenna field. Challenging issues needed to be solved include wide bandwidth, wide scan angle, low side loops, and no fabrication and material causes. We are tackling these problems using the magnetoelectric dipole antenna technology, which was invented at CTU in 2006. The ME dipole is not only wide in bandwidth, but also excellent in other electrical characteristics, including symmetrical radiation pattern, no mutual coupling, and wide beam width. It can be made reconfigurable with high radiation efficiency. Recently, I'm motivated to develop antennas for medical imaging. We need to search innovative techniques that can provide us with very compact wideband antennas that can achieve good impedance matching with complex and high loss biomedical materials. As an engineering scientist and educator, my greatest satisfaction comes from the wide applications of research outputs and outstanding students trained over the years. Receiving international and national awards and recognitions give me the driving force to sustain my contributions. The Stakey Lab of terahertz and millimeter waves has been established as an international hub for EM, microwave and antenna research collaborations and exchanges. We will continue to make more significant contributions in the years to come.